Chapter 7 When Solomon finished praying, fire flashed down from heaven and burned up the burnt offerings and sacrifices, and the glorious presence of the Lord filled the temple. The priests could not even enter the temple of the Lord because the glorious presence of the Lord filled it. When all the people of Israel saw the fire coming down and the glorious presence of the Lord filling the temple, they fell face down on the ground and worshipped and praised the Lord, saying, He is so good! His, His faithful, faithful love endures forever! Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices to the Lord. King Solomon offered a sacrifice of 22,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. And so the king and all the people dedicated the temple of God. The priests took their assigned positions, and so did the Levites who were singing. His faithful love endures forever. They accompanied the singing with music from the instruments King David had made for praising the Lord. On the other side of the Levites, the priests blew the trumpets while all Israel stood. Solomon then dedicated the central area of the courtyard in front of the Lord's temple so they could present burnt offerings and the fat from peace offerings there. He did this because the bronze altar he had built could not handle all the burnt offerings, grain offerings, and sacrificial fat. For the next seven days they celebrated the festival of shelters, with huge crowds gathered from all the tribes of Israel. They came from as far away as Lebo Hamath in the north to the brook of Egypt in the south. On the eighth day they had a closing ceremony, for they had celebrated the dedication of the altar for seven days and the festival of shelters for seven days. Then at the end of the celebration, Solomon sent the people home. They were all joyful and happy because the Lord had been so good to David and Solomon and to his people Israel. So Solomon finished building the temple of the Lord as well as the royal palace. He completed everything he had planned to do. Then one night the Lord appeared to Solomon and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this temple as the place for making sacrifices. At times I might shut up the heavens so that no rain falls, or I might command locusts to devour your crops, or I might send plagues among you. Then if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. I will listen to every prayer made in this place, for I have chosen this temple and set it apart to be my home forever. My eyes and my heart will always be here. As for you, if you follow me as your father David did and obey all my commands, laws, and regulations, then I will not let anyone take away your throne. This is the same promise I gave your father David when I said, You will never fail to have a successor who rules over Israel. But if you abandon me, and disobey the laws and commands I have given you. And if you go and worship other gods, then I will uproot the people of Israel from this land of mine that I have given them. I will reject this temple that I have set apart to honor my name. I will make it a spectacle of contempt among the nations. And though this temple is impressive now, it will become an appalling sight to all who pass by. They will ask, why has the Lord done such terrible things to his land and to his temple? And the answer will be, Because his people abandoned the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who brought them out of Egypt, and they worshipped other gods instead. That is why he brought all these disasters upon them.